There are times when the ocean is generous, and there are times when it's not. For the people who look to the sea for livelihood, it's a simple fact of life. Earl Walker strides into the surf on Saplo Island, hoping that this will be one of the generous days. It may only take a few throws of his cast net to find the fish, or it may take hundreds, or he just might come home empty-handed. He takes the good days with the bad ones. Well, sometimes you go there and you might be two hours, you might get two, you might get one, you might get none. When's the best time to fish? Well, we mostly our best test would be after spring tide. See, otherwise the spring tide, and when the spring tide you know, goes down, it leave up the creek. And we go up the creek and that's our best time. So when the tide's not right, you just can't do it, huh? You're not gonna catch it. But that's the truth. You gotta catch the tide right, and you are, uh, and then if, if you have some time uh, hiding all these winds, you still wouldn't catch it. Earl is six foot four. His net has a diameter of 14 feet. An unlikely combination that takes on the grace and form of a rustic ballet. Part of Earl's skill is knowing when and where to fish. The other is how to throw a cast net. It's not that easy. Hold, all right, hold, hold it all together. In this hand? Mm-hmm. I got with a lady in your mouth. Put that in my mouth. <laughs> oh, okay now. Then, not, not, uh -huh. this Okay. Kind of stretch out a little bit. Just stretch your arm a little more. Mm-hmm. Now, when you swing, your hand go with your mouth and let go at the same time now. Don't hold it back. <laughs> <laughs> hold that thing. What happens if I do? Uh, you might want to hold that, but I guess I don't know. Uh, you see that thing on my arm? Grab that thing. Okay. Now what do I do? Uh, yeah. Kind of. It's kind of. Kind of. Just sway back just a little. You know. Let's make a little twist. Yeah. Now try. <laughs> You're almost done it. Almost did it. This was one of those days. The wind wasn't right. The tide wasn't right. Or maybe the ocean just didn't feel generous. Earl left us with one thought of optimism. Tomorrow morning, Miss Nett, you'll catch fish. This is Andy Johnston.